New at 6, to celebrate Black History Month, we are taking you to an art gallery in Milwaukee's Williamsburg Heights neighborhood. Kareen Zell shows us why the gallery is showcasing artists of color. Milwaukee artist Benny Higgins mostly paints people. When I'm in here, it's like being in my own world. You'll find Benny here at Five Points Art Gallery and Studios when he's not working with domestic violence survivors at the Alma Center. Even during his 25 years as a Milwaukee police officer, he made time to create. And now I'm moving to be rooted through art versus in my previous careers. Benny used to work out of a studio in Bayview, but now rents a space here at a former funeral home at Port Washington and Keefe. And I thought it would be a great idea to have this on the north side where I live. So returning to my community to do this was a, a powerful draw for me. Right now, the gallery space is filled with work by Milwaukee artist Daryl Payne, proud to have his pieces on display so close to home. Is that special for you? Very much so. It warms my heart and soul, you know. It gives me more light to create more work. I was very conscious about where I wanted to be. I did want to come back to my neighborhood. Oh, wow. Gallery director and artist herself, Fatima Laster, grew up a block from here. There's still just a, a dire lack of representation for us. And I was like, this would be ideal to have like this artsy renaissance space in here. Like we meet, we eat, we show our work, we sell our work. And then it's just a great hub and network for people to to build their careers. How is this a benefit to the community? Um, economically, um, it's another business in the space. Um, and then culturally, it's a, a space where people can come and congregate safely and just learn about different works and practices that are out there. A lot of the art is local, but Fatima is even attracting artists from other parts of the country. I wanted to showcase like the talent, the range of talent, our visibility and help you know, us get on the platform and be a soundboard for everyone to kind of grow. Fatima struggled with initial funding for the project, but Greater Milwaukee Foundation stepped in. So our program supports uh, entrepreneurship, uh, job creation, blight elimination through the investments that we make. So when Fatima's project came across our desk, it hit on all of those. Now artists around the community thankful to have a place to call home. I've been painting all my life, but it hasn't been my main focus all my life. Reporting on Milwaukee's north side, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. And you can check out the work of these local artists right now on TMJ4.com. Just click on the story. And this Sunday is the debut of Positively Milwaukee with Carol Meekins. It will air every Sunday at 9 a.m. here on today's TMJ4. And here's a sneak peek of what you can expect this Sunday morning. What do you do to stay positive? I pray to God every day and I read my Bible. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Can I pay for your groceries? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we also have a Positively Milwaukee Facebook group that you can join to share positive stories in your community. Just search Positively Milwaukee on Facebook.